Hi, I'm Gautam, a technical account manager here at the AWS office in Seattle. Uh, today, I'm going to show you the different options available to connect to or from your Amazon Virtual Private Cloud. Let's get started. You can use the following ways to connect to or from your VPC, a virtual private network, AWS Client VPN, AWS Direct Connect, a VPC peering connection, a VPC endpoint, an internet gateway, a network address translation gateway, a NAT instance, a transit gateway. Of course, the best option depends on your specific use case and preferences. Let's look at each of these available methods to get an overview of the concepts and use cases suitable for each one. AWS Site-to-Site -Site VPN connection provides secure connectivity to your VPC from your remote network location. These VPNs can be hardware or software based. The hardware VPN is an AWS managed VPN connectivity option that terminates on a virtual private gateway attached to a VPC. Let's look at a hardware VPN in our AWS management console. From the AWS management console, navigate to the VPC console. On the VPC console, scroll down to the virtual private network and select site to site VPN connections. Here we have an existing VPN connection that was already created. Choose download configuration to download the internet protocol security VPN configuration. You can use the IPsec VPN configuration to configure the firewall or device in your local network that connects to the VPN. The other option is a software VPN. When you use this option, you have the flexibility of fully managing the VPC connectivity by creating a VPN connection between your remote network and a software VPN appliance running in your Amazon VPC network. There are multiple options available in the AWS marketplace. From the AWS management console, navigate to AWS marketplace subscriptions. In the AWS marketplace console, choose discover products. Search for the software VPN appliance that you want to use. AWS Client VPN is a managed client-based VPN solution that allows you to securely access your VPC resources and other connected networks from anywhere using an open VPN-based VPN client. On the VPC console, scroll down to Virtual Private Network and select Client VPN Endpoints. Here we have an existing client VPN endpoint that was already created. An AWS Direct Connect connection links your internal network to a Direct Connect location over a standard 1 Gbps, 10 Gbps, or 100 Gbps Ethernet fiber optic cable. With an AWS Direct Connect connection, you have the capability of establishing a dedicated connection from your on-premises network to an Amazon VPC. This is a private connection between Amazon VPC and your data center. It's perfect for applications that are sensitive to latency or need a baseline amount of throughput. AWS Direct Connect can reduce network costs, increase bandwidth throughput, and provide a more consistent network experience than internet-based connections. From the AWS Management Console, navigate to Direct Connect Console. We can see existing Direct Connect connections that were already set up. Next up, we have VPC peering. A VPC peering connection connects two VPCs and then routes traffic between them through private IP addresses. Doing this allows the VPCs to function as if they're on the same network. There is no single point of failure for communication or a bandwidth bottleneck because AWS uses the existing infrastructure of a VPC to create a VPC peering connection. You can create a VPC peering connection between your own VPCs with a VPC in another AWS account or with a VPC in a different AWS region. On the VPC console, select peering connections. Here we have an existing peering connection that was already set up. Let's move on to VPC endpoints. A VPC endpoint is a private connection between your VPC and another AWS service that doesn't require internet access. The two types of VPC endpoints are interface VPC endpoints for AWS private link services 
and gateway VPC endpoints, specifically for Amazon Simple Storage Service and Amazon DynamoDB. After you configure a VPC endpoint, instances in your VPC can use private IP addresses to communicate with resources in other AWS services, VPC endpoint services hosted by other AWS accounts, supported AWS Marketplace partner services. On the VPC console, select endpoints. We can see an existing VPC endpoint that was created for Amazon S3. Now let's talk about Internet Gateway. An Internet Gateway lets resources in your public subnets connect to the internet if the resources have a public IPv4 address or an IPv6 address. Similarly, resources on the internet can initiate a connection to resources in your subnet using the public IPv4 address or IPv6 address. For example, an Internet Gateway lets you connect to an EC2 instance in AWS using your local computer. On the VPC console, select Internet Gateways. Here we have an existing Internet Gateway that was already created. If you're looking to provide private resources in your VPC with outbound internet connection, you have two options. A NAT Gateway is an AWS managed service that lets resources in a private subnet of a VPC connect to the internet or other AWS services without allowing connections to those resources from the internet. A NAT instance is a customer managed EC2 instance in the public subnet of a VPC that lets instances in the private subnet initiate outbound IPv4 traffic to the internet or other AWS services while also preventing those instances from receiving inbound traffic initiated by someone on the internet. It's a best practice to use NAT gateways for common use cases because they provide better availability and bandwidth and they require less effort on your part to administer. On the VPC console, select NAT gateways. We can see an existing NAT gateway that was already created. Finally, the last option that we look at is AWS Transit Gateway. The Transit Gateway acts as a central hub, routing traffic between VPCs, VPN connections, and AWS Direct Connect connections. This is an excellent option to consider if you want to establish communication between multiple VPCs. In contrast to VPC peering, you don't have to establish a connection between each participant VPC. You can just add the VPC as an attachment to the Transit Gateway. On the VPC console, scroll down to Transit Gateways and select Transit Gateways. Here we have an existing Transit Gateway that was already created. And now you know the different options available to connect to or from your Amazon VPC. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.